Hi, I'm Mike Kirkness, President and CEO of 3Helix. We at 3Helix love collagen, and we bring a wealth of varied experience in collagen science and business. And now we're utilizing our passion for collagen to bring a revolutionary NASH prognostic to market. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is a growing healthcare problem today, for today's society, with more than 83 million people affected in the USA alone. The progression of the disease goes from a healthy liver to fatty liver to the more serious NASH with fibrosis of the liver, leading to cirrhosis and potentially cancer. NASH is further categorized into fibrotic stages, which are determined by the location and amount of collagen present. The disease is considered silent because the symptoms are non-existent or very mild in fatty liver in the early years of NASH. The challenge with NAFLD, it's very slow to develop and very variable in terms of disease progression and patient to patient. Of 100% of the NAFLD patients, 33% will progress into NASH, and of that 33%, 20% will rapidly progress into advanced fibrosis, making prognosis extremely challenging, but also critically important to identify those fast progressing patients. The question I pose is, can the healthcare market afford to treat all the NASH patients? And do they need to be treated? This problem is coming to the medical community as there are many new NASH drugs approaching the market with 89 active clinical trials. The drugs are predicted to be very expensive and when coupled with a large treatable market cap makes for $300 billion, $320 billion annually for the market size. What there needs is an effective predictive solution that can stray the patient population to identify the fast progressing patients. This solution would aid pharma, payers, and patients to ultimately determine who needs to be treated and when they need to be treated. As NASH is progressing, the severity of liver fibrosis increases. The total amount of collagen increases as well. However, we must be careful not to think of NASH as only an addition of collagen but a dynamic disease that includes both collagen synthesis and degradation. 3Helix's solution is collagen hybridizing peptides. CHPs allow us to target remodeling collagen. How this works is a triple helix is damaged in some mechanism such as enzymatic cleavage. The CHP can then form a triple helix with the damaged collagen chains, allowing us to target the remodeling collagen. Looking at some recent results from a histopathology study with 82 NAFLD patients with paired biopsy, we were able to differentiate progressors from stable patients. In the first two images, we can see high levels of CHP staining in the fast progressing stage two patient. In these next three images, again, we can see higher levels of CHP staining in the fast progressing patients when compared to the slow progressing patients. As a reminder, we are not looking at total collagen, but remodeling collagen. This is significantly different than the traditional collagen stains, as we are visualizing collagen activity. By compiling our histopathology results, we can see that the fast progressors had a significantly higher mean score than the slow and moderate progressors. Thus, and excitingly, mind you, CHP staining can be used as a prognostic indicator for NASH. Our initial target is the $30 million market for clinical trials using our prognostic histopathology stain. This stain improves on the insights gained from today's gold standard of biopsies by monitoring disease activity. But the biggest need in NASH is an accessible, non-invasive technology that enables population screening that is needed to improve NASH patient outcomes. Our objective is to deliver a non-invasive, FDA-approved in vitro diagnostic using CHP serum biomarkers. This technology expands the market significantly to 2.7 billion in the US and 9.5 billion worldwide. We currently have a CHP ELISA kit prototype that is developed. So not only will CHP NASH prognostics be able to help therapeutics come to market, but we'll also be able to determine who to treat once they get to market. 
we plan to start using our histopathology line in retrospective clinical trial studies in early 2022, while launching an ASR or an analytic specific reagent shortly afterwards to be used in active clinical trials. Our CHP ELISA kits will be starting clinical trials in 2022 with a target of a fully FDA approved in vitro diagnostic in 2025. Our near-term expenditures will approach $5 million and will be focused on achieving the previous timelines. The bulk being spent to access larger biobanks such as Litmus and further development of our CHP ELISA technology. To be abundantly clear, Three Helix's core strength, opportunity, and focus is NASH Diagnostics. However, beyond NASH, we plan to pursue additional opportunities in parallel with a time and capital efficient approach by leveraging partner-driven pipeline activity. Our first technology are bioactive CHPs. Bioactive CHPs can aid in tissue regeneration for medical devices and for anti-aging effects in skin and cosmetics. Shown below is our minimally invasive medical imaging probe, which is the first technology that can directly visualize subretinal fibrosis in wet AMD. The research project is partnered with and led by Rausch. Our team is led by myself and Lucas Benick, an amazing scientist who has been studying CHPs for the last decade. Our main consultant is Alistair Burt, a leading NASH expert in both histopathology and serum studies with extensive experience in aiding the development of an ELF test. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time and we'll happily take any questions or comments.